Hey guys, how's it going? So today actually we're going to be looking into this paper called Smooth Quantization. This paper is not quite hard to understand. You can actually get the idea behind the paper right away. So the, the, the main idea that the authors had was that because of activations are quite hard to quantize than weight, and this is mainly for models like LLMs, models with like 60, uh, what is it, 6.5 billion parameters above. So what happens is that these models, the activations of these models tend to have outliers. And these outliers, essentially, they stretch the quantization range, therefore increasing the quantization error. So because of this, what the author has tried to do was that they tried to ask themselves, would it be possible then to actually shift some of the uh, quantization difficulty from the activation to the weight, right? So that's like the main idea, and they're trying to do that, right? So what I did to, 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 to show you the idea was that I wrote the pseudo code, and uh, before I get into the code, I just want to say that this is like my, my kind of like my open source project uh, that I have started in which I cover like the pseudo code of research papers. You can check it out. The goal is just to try to explain some of these concepts um, and give you like at least less than 30 lines of code. And in that way, you get to understand uh, in a much more better way. So like I said, that uh, essentially smooth quant uh, try to overcome the difficulty of uh, quantizing weights, uh, quantizing activation, I meant uh, by migrating the scale invariance from activation to weight, right? So how they do this is that they have this thing called alpha. So we can think of alpha as like a hyperparameter that help us to understand how much of the uh, quantization difficulty we want to migrate to the weight. The authors find that essentially 0 0.5 um, tend to work well for the most part. However, I have to say that this is not true all the time because in the paper, they do state that models like GLM, which had 130 billion parameters, had 30% of its activation as outliers. Therefore, it was quite difficult to, to quantize its activations using uh, 0 0.5. What they did was to select 0 0.75. What this means is that they had to migrate uh, the quantization difficulty from activations to the weights uh, using uh, 0 0.75 as a hyperparameter. So how this work is that we need to calculate S, also known as the pair channel smoothing factor, right? So essentially S is going to ensure that our weights and our activation share a similar maximum value and the quantization difficulty. For them to share the maximum value is that we need to take the maximum absolute um, value of both the activation and the weight. Then we're going to power the maximum activation by the alpha. Then we divide this by the maximum weight powered to one minus alpha. Okay. Now to smooth the activations, we just need to take the activation multiplied by the diagonal of S, what we just calculated here, right? Power two minus one, right? Then for the weights, we just need to uh, multiply the diagonal of S by the weights, right? So the authors state that essentially to scale the weights accordingly and to keep the mathematical equivalent of a linear layer, that's what they did. So you can do it this way. But anyway, we return this. So uh, this is just an example that I, I just did, just so uh, people can understand how then the quantization will be applied within the transformer block. It's just an, an easy to understand uh, code. It's just a, an example, so to speak, right? Then here is just the quantization function. Uh, in the paper, they quantized uh, using um, eight bits, okay? So that's all it is to this i don't know if like these type of short videos and pseudocode they will be helpful to some of you guys and they, um, i thought maybe it might be a good idea to cover these like uh short videos so that you guys actually can understand and uh, get a better idea so i hope it was helpful um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thanks bye